Welcome back everybody to the channel. Today we're going to do a what we call a winking expression. Uh, we're going to have some teeth also like he's gritting at something uh, and also uh, grinding his teeth or showing a lot of his teeth. But anyway we're going to go back over our steps here and our basic foundation of doing our face. And again we're we've got our place here cut for the forehead and we're, again our center line is right down the center here of this 90 degree angle and taking the tip of my knife and going to the outside edge of the eye plane doing the same thing here to this side except I'm going straight up and so there we have the eyes and the bridge um, area here and now we're going to Let's do this first. Let's put in the, the tip of the nose first before we actually put in the bridge of the nose. And again, we're talking about expressions. And so again, we're taking this little U-gouge and we're going halfway down the bridge of the nose and pushing straight in, pushing straight in on the other side, taking our knife removing those two cuts that we made with the u-gouge coming out here to the edge of the where we start with the u-gouge and pushing straight in and this is going to create us a, a larger eye plane as you can see we've got quite a nice little plane going on there and then i'm going to turn the wood here and i'm going to come in here and get rid of that waste there and so Always look your carving over sideways, upside down. Make sure everything is, is pretty much perspective as you can. So again, now we're gonna I'm gonna come in here with our smile lines. Now again, we're gonna be do, showing some teeth eventually, and I'm gonna kind of curve our smile line just a little, give it just a little bit of curvature. And again, the smile line really can make a difference. And don't be afraid just to turn and twist now in making your small line so now we're going to take our knife and we're going to come we made our stop cut here first and then we come back underneath he, over here and make that slicing cut that we talked about in the video earlier on your stop cuts and things and so you can see that created a shadow there and I like that so now we're going to come over here and create this part of the, the wing of the nose and using the tip only uh, and getting it in to that stop cut and bringing that piece together. All right. We're going to clean up the nose here a little bit. All right, so now we're going to um, you can do this too if you'd like. Take your V-tool and put in the wings if you'd like. Or you can do it with a knife like we did earlier. And sometimes the wood wants to give away on you. And we're going to come in here and clean this up a little bit. And again, if, it, if the wood gives away, just don't worry about it. Start over and kind of like it did there on us. And uh, enhance this just a little bit more. Okay. All right. Again, we've got our planes, our three planes. Remember, everything is, is in, divided on our body in threes. And same thing with our facial expressions. Now, I'm just coming in here and trying to make this more distinct for you where you can see it better. Try not to get too far ahead of your carving. Try not to think too far ahead because just stick with what you're, what you're working on and then gradually move your piece around. Okay, so and now we're going to come in and again we're doing a winking eye and a, an open eye. So this side here will be our winking eye and so but this will be the open eye because we're going to have his eye, his pupil looking uh, to his uh, left. 
And so, again, we're just penciling in the upper eyelid. <clears throat> Taking our V-tool here, starting on the outside and working our way on top of that line. Starting again on the secondary line using my thumb. All right. And then, since we're only going to use a, you uh, have an op one open eye we're just going to go ahead and put in our cuts for the to create the eyeball so we had one cut and there's our second cut and then angle your knife and there's your third cut and the deepest part is of your our eyes is next to the tear duct over there next to the nose all right so now we are going to do the other side of the eyeball and those three cuts there again our eyeball is sticking out just a little too much there taking that knife placing it on top of that eyeball with a stop cut and doing that slicing cut underneath there and there we have a nice looking eyeball now while we're here since we're only doing one open eye Let's go ahead and finish out the eyeball, or eye, with the bottom lid. Coming out here to the side, creating the crow's feet. And now, let's go ahead and put the eyebrow bone area up here to kind of give him some forehead. And that way, uh, you see where we're going here and all right now let's take our soft V or a U gouge and let's split the eyebrows again just take that soft V now when I say a soft V I want to show you the difference here in these two this is more distinct valley here this has a more softer valley and again, I love this tool here because it creates a lot of soft textures and uh, lips and, and wrinkles and different things like that. So if you're thinking about a good tool to get to put with your, your set of tools or whatever, that soft V, they come in different couple of sizes. All right, so now we're going to pencil in the upper lip and again, you don't have to make it perfect. I like to start out and just kind of go up a little bit because he's going to have a little ornery look in a way, kind of a kidding, winking eye like, ha ha, I know all about that or whatever look. And so all we're doing is taking our V tool here and we are just putting in that upper lip. And see, he's already happy looking, uh, even though he's just got one eye. And um, so he's just glad he's got one eye so far. <sighs> all right, so... We're going to let that go for a little bit. Now we're going to focus on the squinting eye. All right, so now we're going to take a U-gouge, and depending on what project you're going to use, this is about a two millimeter. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in two uh, cuts to each corner, and these are soft cuts by using the U-gouge. And again, we're just not going very deep out here because this is not the deepest part of our eye. It doesn't matter whether you're an uh, open eye or a squinting eye. Now we're going to come here and we're going to put in the V-shaped cut here. Again, this takes a little practice. And what we're, our goal here is, by doing this, is creating the mound right through here where the eyeball will be and where we can create the eyelids. Because when you laugh, uh, have a tendency to, our eyelids kind of close, and not all the way. All right, so we did these two cuts here, two cuts here. Now we're gonna join these two by taking your U-gouge and just connecting them. Now see there how it made a nice flow there? And now we're gonna take it and do the same thing here on the bottom side. I'm going to turn my wood where we can get a better uh, cut here. And we're going right again. Now, you see, I'm going to take my pencil here. I want to show you. And 
right about here is where the upper and upper and lower lids going to be. So when I go in here with my knife, that's going to be the upper and this will be the lower and that will be just a little hint of the eye being open there. So again, you can do it with a very sharp V tool or you can do it with a, a, a knife here. But I'm going to do it with a knife and I'm going to make a stop cut right here just using the tip only. Don't bury this thing, all right? You make two or three strokes through here uh, and just take the very tip because if you go too deep, you're going to fracture the grain. And just take your time. You're in no hurry. I have to remind myself of that and I'm in no hurry. All right, so now we've got these three cuts or two cuts I've made. And now we're going to open up the eye by taking a little sliver by using the very tip. Now I like a thin bladed knife right here. And boy, look at that. Isn't that neat how that just brought him to life right there? Let's get our brush and get rid of some of that there. And now what I do is I'll take my V tool and I deepen that to create more shadow. And also, you also you're creating your your smile line, your your crow's feet there. I'm gonna turn it and go this way and deepen that. We're doing it here on the bottom to create that shadow. All right. Now let's look here for a second. Here we've got some cleanup here. Right here in the corner. And whenever you're looking at it, again, look at it every which way you can. Now, I'm going to stop right there for a minute. I see something we need to do with the nose. And we're going to continue to bring down the bridge down just a little farther. I don't know if you can see that, but that really brought that nose more to life there. <laughs> All right. That's why a brush is very good. Sometimes my blower doesn't work very good. All right. So we're going to kind of work that out a little bit. All right. Now we're going, uh, let's see. I'm going to go just a little deeper with our lids here. And that's not going to work. I want to go back to my an eighth. This is about a one eighth V tool here that I use, and I want to deepen this really good here. All right. And so, just take little by little. I'd rather you take two or three small cuts than large cuts, especially when you're working with the eye. Now I'm going to go back in here again and make another stop cut to separate the upper to create the upper and lower eyelid. And so we're going to come in here now and take out just a little bit more to show just a little more depth there. There we go. I like that better. All right. Now I'm going to take this number 12. It's a very small V tool and just come in and clean up the corner. Get the moat out of his eye, so to speak there. All right, now I got us a piece hanging on right there. There we go. So now we're going to uh, work on the eyebrow here just a little bit, and then we're going to put in the bottom lip. And uh, again, with your V tool, um, just come in. Now, I like to put eyebrows in. Now sometimes if the if the carving is too small, I'll just paint them on. But use your V-Tool, and they don't have to be huge, just to show that there's some action there with the eyebrows. We're going to turn our wood, and we're going to do the same thing here. Again, following that top line that you created for the upper eyelid, stay right on that. Okay, we're getting close to the finish line here. Now, we're going to put in... Again, the well, I tell you what, we're going to create the teeth part, all right? So what I'm going to do here 
is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to plunge it in. Now this is going to take a little time because you're putting in teeth. And now again, you don't have to put all perfect teeth. Put them a little gnarly in there. Look like they've been separated some. But now I'm relieving that here to where I can get my, I call it the teeth plane. And sometimes the wood's going to give away there, so don't don't get all shook up. Just come back in, make your stop cut, and straighten up that dental mound because behind your upper lip is your teeth. And sometimes you have to go in and adjust things. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put me a line right here. And I'm going to make my teeth pretty good size. Because again, whether it's the nose or ears or anything, we want to make everything really big. And put a stop cut here. This is going to be the teeth. This is not the lower lip. It may look like the lower lip, but it's not. All right, so I'm going to come in here now and I'm going to start taking my knife and pushing down and see how it levels out and makes those teeth, potential teeth, more flat. Turning my wood and going flat here. Okay. Now we're going to remove this waist down here to get ready to put in the bottom lip. Again, we're going to come back to our soft feed. This is about a 3 16 And I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to put that cut in there. Turn it. And then I'm going to come in with a, my thin bladed knife and I'm going to make a stop cut again above the top lip. And then I'm going to come in here and make a stop cut here. And then I'm going to take my knife now and I'm going to open up the bottom lip to where he'll have some action. And again, just take your time through here. And all we have is time. Gonna make that a little deeper. Take our brush here. All right, I'm gonna come back in now with my soft V, make this a little deeper here because when you smile, you're tightening the skin. And now we gotta come in here and really work on these teeth a little bit. Always make sure your tools are in good shape because you want good clean cuts in here and then when you paint this guy it will be a lot easier on your brushes. All right. Now when you're getting ready to put in the spaces in between the teeth, again if you're going to do some guy that's really you know gnarly looking, I mean you could put a really big gap but, but let's just do a, try to do a normal set. So we're going to put a, a cut there and a cut here, and a cut here, and as you get closer to the cheek, you want to start making smaller teeth, not make them so wide. And as you go back, it narrows, so just using the tip of your knife, and go there. Now, here's how we put the spaces in between the teeth. And I'm going to clean this up, and I come in, hopefully, our knife will let us, the wood will let us. And we're taking out little tiny wedges to create the space. Now if you're doing something really small, 
you wouldn't see these spaces so I would just when you paint it just paint it all white and but since this here is a little bit bigger and pretty good size all right yeah so he's gonna have to go to the dentist and get some work done looks like it Again, don't be afraid. This is just a piece of wood. If you mess up, so what? Um, so we're coming in here. We're cleaning things up a little bit. And the reason why we're doing this is because if you'll practice on scrap wood like this here, um, this will help you when you actually get to the rough out or your bandsaw cutout of your character that you're getting ready to do. And, uh, you know, so what? Every carving should have a story. You wonder what he's thinking right now. You know, where, where's, what's, what's he going to be doing? Uh, why is he winking? You know, so try to think some of this stuff out a little bit. And uh, have fun. That's the main thing. All right. Now, we're going to have him looking... Um, Let's see, let's have him looking this way to his left. He's winking at somebody. And, uh, like, oh yeah, look at there. And again, we're going to come in here and tweak the mouth a little bit. And again, we watch the mouth tells the story about, about anything. Because when you're carving, the facial expression is going to be the one that's going to get most of your reaction and responding, response from people. You may carve a great hand or a great foot, but people, that's not the first thing they look at. They look at the expression. And again, I try not to do very many sad faces um, because it just, doesn't, it just doesn't go very well. They don't sell very well, um, but always... I've sold more smiling pieces than anything, and it's true. More people smile. A, a smile is the only thing that's contagious, really. And um, so I see a spot right here. We got a little, just a little, probably pencil mark or whatever. And so, as we wind up here, we're going to look him over and again. You can put, um, oh, you know, anything you'd like to make him a little older, you can always put in some exaggeration, like some, you know, aging. Just enough to catch light, you know. Even down here. I'm going to turn my wood here. <sighs> See, create little things like that there. All right, now I see this one tooth. There we go. It needs to be set back in there, Father. And let's see. Let's get our number five here and let's get rid of the bandsaw marks off of here. Now again, let's come over to this side where the, the, the hair would be, the ear placement would be, the sideburns. And, but this here, a lot of people, when they, uh, I think we had a comment one, one guy says he has a hard time getting his head, to, the hat to fit the head. Well, a lot of times right here is the problem because we don't, the temple is right there next to your eyeball on both sides and that needs to come in and that will fit up into the hat and you'll see a big difference there so if you'll sink in your temples there your head will your head will fit into the hat so the hat fit in the head I think I said that right but anyway you'll get it you'll eventually figure it out here but so we'll come over here we'll do the same thing cut right here and make that cut and I'm sinking that in just a little bit, bringing that down. I'll turn my wood here now. I 
All right, come in here and make this little swooping cut. Now you can do it this way too if you've got a, um, a tool that's got just a little a scoop to it. You could do it like that there if you don't want to do it with your knife. And see how that sets that in there. And, um, and that just really helps the, the um, head look better in all the facial features. All right, now we're down to the cleanup stage here. And we're going to and learn to use your tool, turn it over on its backside. Use that to really round things off and clean things up. And again, I'm learning every day. I don't care how long you've been carving. You're always going to learn something new every time you sit down and you carve. And so, again, don't be afraid about making uh, so-called mistakes. They could be, as I said in one video, happy accidents. And so, and then you can come in here and make the, make the chin area, you know. Now sometime down the road we're going to do a female face and on a female face we're not going to take big bold cuts because it just won't look right. Alright, so I think that's pretty good for right now on this winking eye and, and just clean up these areas here and you can do that in your downtime, getting that all cleaned up there. But at the end of the day it's practice and practice and that the reason why we do these on a scrap piece of wood is because uh, when we actually go to the bandsaw uh, blank or a rough out you'll already have been you've already conquered most of your car uh, your carving abilities by doing this first and actually putting these features onto a piece that you'll be very proud of thank you for joining us today and uh, happy carving